Okay, again, everybody, it's Chris Landry from Soundings and Soundings Trade Only. This time I'm with Matt Groon. He's the president of the Marine Retailers Association. Matt, I talked to you a few weeks ago. Good to talk to you again. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, we're going to start off by maybe talking just a, a little bit about your first year um, has uh, gone by and how do you think you did and, and uh, what, what has it been like? Well, it's been a great learning experience, absolutely. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited because we've made a lot of progress with you know, the way that the association approaches the industry, approaches the, the uh, you know, what we do from a, a business standpoint, how we give back to the industry. Um, we've made a lot of progress. We've, we've tripled the number of benefits that we offer our members um, and offered a lot of new resources and opportunities for dealers. Uh, regional trade event uh, that we run called Marine Retail University and you know uh, the dealers have, have noticed our, our individual member memberships are up by 170 percent since February alone so 170 percent 170 percent yep and we're already seeing more uh, dealers signing up here at the conference so it's exciting there's a lot of good things going on now speaking of dealers the dealers themselves in the industry seem to be coming back a bit is what I'm hearing is that is that true yeah absolutely I mean the industry itself is up you know 10% year over year uh, and and that comes out to work out really well for the dealers I mean the the industry itself saw about a 35% decline in the number of dealers that are in the market since 2007 or so 2008 somewhere in that time frame Uh, the recession hit them hard we lost 35% of them but now we're in a situation where with fewer dealers and the industry being up 10 percent that that growth is you know spread across fewer dealers so it's it's um the 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 dealer market seems to have stabilized and we're moving forward good how about looking ahead to the next year you know what are your goals in 2013 and, and how do you see it playing out well, that's a good question. We actually held our first ever strategic planning meeting this year, which was a phenomenal uh, uh, event for us because it really kind of gave us a focus on where we're headed and what we want to do. So the timing of the question is very good. Uh, we are focused on you know, getting the message out to members and to non-members alike what we have to offer, what our uh, reason for existing is, uh, how we uh, help and reach out to the, the dealer body and how we help connect them with the rest of the industry uh, to help the industry grow and and we're really focused on that uh, there's a lot of uh, detailed components about that but we have a strong you know three to five year plan that uh, that's really going to carry us forward could you address that how, how do you help your, your members what do you do for them yeah well we believe that our role uh, uh, let me back up from there before our even our role we believe that the dealer and the marine retailer is the critical link that makes this industry go they are the people who are on the front lines with with the consumer they are selling the boats they are servicing the boats and we view our role as you know the the entity that really needs to contribute to their success and we find we provide them resources we provide them opportunities we provide them education and the more that we can do to build those dealers up those people who interact with the end user, uh, the more that we can help this industry grow and, and be successful. One of the things I did want to ask you was about um, the educational um, emphasis at this show. Is that something that you're going to build on and, and grow, or do you see more exhibitors coming, or, or maybe both? Well, absolutely. I mean, I, I, our focus for the Marine Dealer Conference and Expo is on dealer education. It goes right back to our mission, goes right back to our strategic plan and what we're looking at doing and the reason we exist. We want to give them the tools and the resources and the education in this case to help them build stronger businesses, become more profitable, and do a better job of servicing the end user. And so our focus here at the MDCE is by all means education-based because that's what brings the dealers in. But when, when the dealers get here, we tell them we've got three big opportunities for them. Obviously, the education is number one. Uh, number two is the exhibit hall, and you've seen this exhibit hall here this year. It's incredible. There are all kinds of great companies here to, who are all focused on helping 
the dealers get better. They are they are supporting what what our mission is in helping those dealers get better, helping them get stronger, helping them become more profitable. And so this expo hall is this you know one of the best ways to one of the best opportunities that we can give the dealers again to strengthen their business. And the third thing is, is simply the networking. I mean, you just look down the hall right here, you see dealers talking with boat builders, you see dealers talking with suppliers, and we are connecting them and giving them the opportunity to learn from one another and grow with one another and really, again, make the industry stronger. You're having some sort of young professionals uh, get yeah. together to try to recruit uh, uh, young people into yeah. the industry. You know, Tell me about that. Absolutely. You know. We have a Young Leaders Advisory Council. It's an advisory council to our board of directors. They give us insights, they give us direction, they give us thoughts on, on where we should be headed, what we should be doing. It's a formal group. You have to apply, you get selected, so on and so forth. We launched a Young Professionals community uh, in two ways. Uh, number one, uh, this community is going to be live and online uh, through our website where they these people can connect with one another, uh, learn from one another, uh, and grow through the industry together. But part of what we want to be able to do is provide them with the education opportunities to accelerate their growth. And so here at the MDCE, uh, tomorrow night, uh, after the networking reception, we have a one-hour educational session. Uh, Spader Business Management is coming in, uh, talking about the, motivation, the motivators uh, behind leadership, okay, and the things that all leaders should know. And, and it's going to be a great session, uh, hour long, and then we're going to take uh, and go from here uh, out and just some informal networking opportunities, get, help these people get to know one another.